All right, YouTubers out there, this is Big Game Twenty Nine. Just uh, get some advice out there for those who are new to YouTube. Now, here are some common mistakes made by new people that are new to YouTube: putting high expectations for themselves. Not a good thing. You can't expect to be instantaneous winner. That doesn't happen. Not with YouTube or any other social media outlet. It just is not that way. There are so many other people out there trying to do what you're doing. Some of them have been doing it for years, are, are either really big channels or still small channels like me, which I've been doing this since 2012. I started out just recording um, what is called Pokemon shows off the TV. I record, upload, that was it, and it got me a lot of, it got me a decent amount of views. Until YouTube put down the band hammer, it wouldn't let me do it anymore. I ended up having to delete delete all the videos. That's another thing. YouTube will can and will intervene by deleting videos they don't like for whatever reason. So you're going to have that kind of trouble if you're starting if you're trying to start out. So be expecting that to happen. The best way to avoid this is not to cuss. Now, I have that problem myself in most of my videos. If you watch some of the older ones, you will see this. I do cuss a lot. I can't help it. It's what I'm used to. And if you can help it, keep it to a minimum, like one or two words, if none at all. Do that, and you're more likely to succeed. Now, a good thing about YouTube, it's very easy to get verified. Unlike other channels, they won't verify you until you got like 50 or more subs. Twitch, it's 50 subs. Uh, there's, I think, Vidme, they want 100,000 subs or you don't get shit. Which, is, which was pretty much a kill off for me once I found that out. And I uh, didn't give them the time of day. And there are other places that want even more of that, some less. It depends where you go. Now, I can give you some advice how to make some videos, but don't listen to me, just make up as you go along. If you don't agree with me, that's fine, do it your own way. There an, but, here is a way to get a good amount of views and subscribers. Do how I started out. But be careful not to record any commercials in the process. That's how I got a lot of flags on my channel. If you want to get a lot of views and subscribers, try recording cartoon shows that are quite famous. If you can, try not to get any music recorded, like uh, what do you call it, um, the startup scene where you know they sing about the show or whatever. Cut that out of the video. If you got good editing software, that should help, and that should help keep the video up longer. Now, there is a slight problem with that because some Creators of the anime don't want other people uploading their show up there. They want to make money off of it. If they see that they're not making money off of you, or they don't know you too well, they will make YouTube take your video down, or send you a copyright strike. So there's a problem there. So this is pretty much an iffy subject. It depends if you want to do it or not. I actually don't really recommend it but if you want to give it a try have at it now there are other ways of making good videos BMX bicycles are actually quite a big thing so if you're into it we call it find one of those parks with all the mounds have a friend record you doing your tricks that actually does get good views. Same with motorcycles doing wheelies and stuff. Or even cars or mudding. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what that is. Where you get in a truck and you just spin around and just throw mud everywhere. That's, it's fun and does get views. There's another thing that does get views, but it's very dependent on how you do it. Because not all, not all of them are famous. It, which is called gaming. Making walkthroughs of new and old games. 
It all depends on the game. Not all games do well on YouTube. I can tell you which ones are doing well. Right now, it's survival games. People seem to like them. And I've been doing Ark Survival Evolved for PS4 Pro. And it's been doing seemingly well. I've been getting between 10 and 100 views per video. So, if you don't have the game now, get it if you can afford it. Now, there is ways of saving up money for new games that you want to get. I can tell you several ways. One is giving plasma to certain centers, um, uh, donation centers. They will actually give you $50 for donating plasma there. How to do that is you gotta find out where they do it. Try looking it up online. That's how I've been getting my games. And there's also scrapping, which means you find aluminum cans, steel, stainless steel, copper, um, other metals. Each metal has its value. Aluminum, aluminum, depending where you go, is between 35 and 45 cents a pound. Steel is um, frankly not worth it. You get like between three and a half to five cents a pound. Sometimes ten. It really depends on where you go to sell your scrap. Copper, which is very good, is two doll two and a half to three dollars a pound. Bronze, I think, is three to five dollars. Really depends where you go. Now, once you save up the money you need, get the game go. Get the game you want to get, but try to get the standard edition, because a lot of these games, they tend to flop or not do well. Some games do do well. And if they do well, they will do well on YouTube, which means you get a decent amount of views. Now, don't expect to get a couple hundred views, because that's unlikely to happen. Now, I do have some good news if you are a female YouTuber, you're going to do very well. You may not like that because of it, but you're going to do well because if you're super cute or super hot, male YouTubers are just going to flood in. Now, I'm not that type of person. I expect the YouTuber to be really good at what they're doing. I can care less what sex you are or what race you are as long as your video is good. I'll watch your videos. If they suck, I don't care how hot you are, I'm not watching them. That's how I am, and there's a lot of other guys that are like that too. But there are more guys that don't give a shit. As long as I get to see some hot ass, they're gonna watch the video. They don't care if it sucks or not. So, you're gonna have a good time uh, being on YouTube. Now, if that's not what you want, there is a way to avoid that and get to ensure people are coming because they like your videos. Do not do face cams. You don't do that. You don't tell them what sex you are. They're going to come for just your good videos. That's how you tell if they actually like you or not. And over time, once your channel grows, gradually grows and gets good to where you want to be, then do face reveal. And they're like, oh my god, you're a girl? <laughs> not kidding, but seriously. Guys... They don't get the same love. Unfortunate, but it's true. Now, like I said, do not ha have high expectations doing YouTube videos. You're not guaranteed to win. Try to do it slow at a slow pace. Grow your channel over time. Make quality videos. And you'll do well. Try commenting on other videos as well, and also replying to comments you get on YouTube. Now, if there are kind of comments like, nice video, or, uh, well, there's a lot of other, you can tell them what they are, but, uh, well, that's it for now. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Ciao.